guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is kind of could be like a two-part video. I am going to do a home decor haul and I'm also going to do an updated apartment tour. I thought it would go perfect together because honestly, some of my stuff for my home decor I've kind of already put away. Like as you can tell, I don't know if you notice, I now have a headboard. So like my lamps, my like bedside chest, my headboard. Obviously, I can't just hold up like a headboard like, hey, this is what I hauled, you know? Um, so I definitely needed to use those things. So in my bedroom tour and like the apartment tour, I will kind of show you guys a little bit closer up what exactly I got. And I will link everything down below if I can find links and I will put everything in the description box as well. Also got a couch so I, you know, I can't just hold that up like, hey, here's my couch. Um, so yeah, so a lot of things are kind of put away. Um, I forgot to save them, but these items that I do have, um, it's pretty much kitchen stuff. Everything here that I have to show you is kitchen, but one thing for my bathroom. So it's pretty much mainly a kitchen decor haul, but I will show everything so that I have like bought for decor wise. Like I'm not going to show you my pots and pans or like my Nutribullet or something or toaster oven because to me that's not like a decor. Like, do you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like an essentials. So you know what I'm saying. Obviously a headboard is an essential too, I guess, but I want to show it because I'm super excited about my room. It's coming together nicely. I don't have it perfect yet, but you will see in my apartment tour. And oh, I did not prepare for my apartment tour. Just FYI. There are dishes in the sink. I do have my fuzzy socks on the floor. Um, so yeah, just keeping it real. My bed was made though. Thank God. I did not pre-make my bed. It was made this morning. So that's good. But anyways, let's go ahead into the home decor haul. So, I'll go ahead and start with all of the kitchen stuff that I have. I am doing a cupcake theme. Can you tell? Is it kind of obvious by this year? This I got from World Market. There are two different flavors or like colors to get, but um, this was the only one at my World Market and I really like it. And it's a cookie jar, but I am not going to use this for a cookie jar. I honestly didn't know how I wanted to decorate my kitchen, but I love cupcakes and my mom saw this and got it for me, so this is pretty much the inspiration. So, going to do a cupcake theme. So, this is the first thing I got, and it's from World Market, and it's a cupcake cookie jar. And I'm not going to use it as a cookie jar. I don't know what I'm going to put inside of it, but I will figure that out. But I think it's super cute, and I love all of the colors on it. Next thing I got from Kmart are these Peel and Stick Waldy Cows. They are cupcakes. There's, I don't know how many, oh, there's 10, and they're giant size. So my kitchen is not big, as you guys saw, so I thought instead of putting nails everywhere, I could put these little decals on there and be kind of cute and add more to the cupcake theme because obviously I don't have a specific color that I'm doing for the cupcakes, and this has a bunch of different colors. There's on the back, you can kind of see all of like the little cupcake wall decal design. So I thought that'd be cute. I haven't hung them up yet because I was waiting specifically for this haul. So now that I've hauled it, I better stick them up. The next three items I have for the kitchen are all from Amazon. Um, a lot of my items I feel like are from either Pier 1, Amazon, or Ikea, you will notice in this haul. Um, so yeah, so these are so freaking cute. They are magnetic salt and pepper shakers. They are from the Moi company, Moi. Um, but let me go ahead and open, I've never even opened it out of the box, honestly, so maybe I should. But I think they are so flipping cute. And they're just so decorative. Oh yeah, you see the little magnets there? So they just like, come on. They just come together like love. But yeah, so this is, honestly y'all, I don't even know which one is salt and which one's pepper. How do you know? I don't. Ugh, I probably sound so screwy now. They are made from Westland. It says on the bottom there, Westland, made in China. But yeah, so this is the two hole one. I don't know if that's salt or pepper, but I'm sure somebody will tell me. So please, be a good Samaritan and let me know is the two hole salt or pepper. So this is the two hole one, um, it's super cute, I really love it. And then this is the, obviously the three hole one there. Just really cute and, oh, they're so cute. So yeah, I'm going to put that kind of like my through passway area where you like saw where I've been sitting. Well, you'll see it in my apartment tour which is coming up after this. Um, I'm going to set them there. Oh, they kiss. But yeah, so I love these, I think they're super cute. Next thing that I got from Amazon, are these awesome kitchen towels. So let me just open it, it's a seven piece. I haven't even opened it yet, you guys. See how good I am waiting? 
So it's a seven piece kitchen set. It includes three kitchen towels, two pot holders, an oven mitt, and a dishcloth. And they say yummy and sweet. I originally wanted these not the ones in Kohl's. And I was gonna return some the ones from Kohl's, but I was like, ah, I might as well keep them just in case you never know. So yeah, so they're super cute. They just say yummy and sweet. And I love the coloring on it, the pink and like little teal there. And then these are the towels on the back. They're pretty much, yeah, they're pretty much all the same. None of them are different. No, but I don't know. I just love them. I think they're super cute. There's different types of towel, like the material. But yeah, so I love this and I can't wait to go and switch these out with the yellow ones. The yellow ones are cute. You will see them um, in the apartment tour. But yeah, I think these are cuter. So let me know which, which ones you guys like better. These or the ones you'll see in the apartment tour. I'm just curious. I vote these. Last thing for the kitchen is my cupcake clock. So this is the picture here. Let me go ahead and take it out. I got this off of Amazon. I know you can get it off of Target. I've seen it on Target's website. Um, but yeah, I just got it off of Amazon. So here is the, it's dusty, or from all this like white stuff. But yeah, so here is the clock, just super cute. And yeah, I'm just gonna hang it up um, and then figure out how to fix the time. But yeah, so I'm just gonna hang that up. So self-explanatory, a cupcake clock to have my cupcake kitchen. The last Thing for my home decor haul is for the bathroom. Got this at Target and it is cherry blossom wall decals. I've never been a, like a wall decal person, but all of a sudden I am. But I saw this and I thought it was gorgeous. So you can see like on this picture description there, like how gorgeous is that? And on the back, you can see more like picture descriptions. I just think it's super pretty. When I saw this, I was like, OMG, I have to have this. So I'm super excited to hang this up and use it. Well, not hang this up, stick it up on the wall. Um, so I definitely want to put it on the back side of the wall. Um, but I don't know where because when the door opens, like it'll block when it's opened all of the cherry blossoms. So if I put them there, so I think I'm going to make it come out of like the shower curtain. But then I don't know if that is too much cherry blossoms because the shower curtain is cherry blossoms and then all of the cherry blossoms coming out of that. Does that make sense? I don't know, let me know what you think. But yeah, so I wanna put it on that big like blank wall. Um, so that's what I wanna do with this. But yeah, so that is everything for my home decor haul. Like I said, um, I will go around now and show you the apartment tour. I've already filmed that. I filmed that as soon as I came in the door, came home from work. I'm still filming on my point and shoot camera, so I hope you guys are okay with that. I haven't found my actual filming camera yet. Kind of worried, but you will see I still have a lot of boxes to unpack, so I'm sure it's okay. But yeah, so please excuse the mess that you're about to see. If you want to see the rest of my apartment tour, then keep on watching this. If not, then thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'm taking questions, doing a personal Q&A and a Cincy Q&A. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below for me and I'm going to answer those in my next upcoming videos. I wanna do the Cincy Q&A Friday. If I have enough questions, of course. So yeah, so if that's all you want to see was just the some decor parts, then goodbye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. If you want to see more, like my apartment, then keep on watching. All right, enjoy. Okay, so to give you guys an overview, I'm going to film the same exact way. Bowser, wiggles. <laughs> going to film the same exact way that I filmed my first apartment tour. So I'm standing in the corner. This is my front door, and then this is just a closet. There's nothing in the closet but some jackets and some like sandals just to like go out the door if I'm walking the dogs. And you can obviously, a huge difference here, you see a couch, a TV stand, and my TV. So I love this couch. It's a sectional. I'll come around over here. Ignore the suitcases. I um, have to put them downstairs in my storage area, but yeah. So I just finished unpacking those. These are my boxes. You didn't really see these last time, um, but these finally came in. And I know it looks like I haven't really unpacked, but I swear I have. I know I've been here a month now. I swear I've done some unpacking, but with some things, like this is clothes, I don't have a dresser, so I fully can't put these like clothes that I would put in a dresser away and things like that. Some stuff is for a desk, but just to show you here, um, since I already showed you guys my home decor, so. 
Hi, I just got off of work. Um, this mirror here I absolutely love. I'm going to put it in to um, my bedroom. I'm going to have it hung up. I just don't know where yet because I want a dresser. So I'm going to measure the dresser that I think I'm gonna get up here one to match my bedroom set. And then if I do that, then I'll know where to hang this guy up. So this is just stuff that I need to put away. And then once all of this is put away, I will have a dining room table here. So anyways, um, you can see now the trash can and like the dog's bowls are there. These bar stools um, I got at Ikea as well. I love them. They were $59.99 a piece. They're in that dark black brown color that Ikea has. I really love them. If I can think of the name, I will link them down below. But they're super comfortable. So right now that's kind of where I'm eating breakfast. And so this is my couch. Ignore the blankets. That's my... Well, I, oh, cause the dog shed so much. I only let the dogs on like that part of the couch. But yeah, so this is my couch. I got it at, oh my God, where did I get it at? I can't think of the name, but it starts with a B. I got it at a furniture store, great deal. Got like 60% off. And then here is my TV. This is the TV you saw it on my first um, apartment tour video that my parents got for me. And then this is the TV stand and I got it at Slumberland Furniture. So yeah, I really like it because it has the four holes and then I have the drawers here so I can put like DVDs and things like that. So I haven't unpacked my DVDs yet. It's in one of those red or orange boxes. So then coming this way, there's the hallway to the room. So into the kitchen, ignore my trash and that. You can tell I knew I was gonna film this today, but this is how I'm living, people, okay? I just got home from work and I was like, I'm gonna film for you guys. So I have not done the dishes yet, so ignore that. But it's still kind of a little unorganized in here. Um, yeah, that needs to get put back into the oven. But these towels are new. They say how sweet it is. And I got those at Kohl's. Um, I bought each of them. Actually, my mom did, let's be honest. But, and then my mom also got me these cute cupcake magnets. It came in six, but I'll zoom in on one so you can see. So it was a group of six of them, and she got those on Amazon. If I can find the link, I will definitely put it down below, but that's what the four look like. And then that cute little magnet my mommy got me. But yeah, there's the um, other one there. And so that's the kitchen. Nothing really new or exciting happening there. So then down this hallway here and into the bathroom. Let me get the light turned on. Um, the only thing different in here are these, are these, if I can talk, is this here. Um, so I got this at Kmart and I took off this right here. It was like right here, so to speak. Took it off and then just fixed it and repainted it. That way this would actually fit. So this is kind of where I want to put my makeup. I got these tubs for like two bucks or $1.50, I think, at Ikea. I need to get two more to put right here because I want to do one for nail polishes and then one for like hair ties and hair bows, things like that. But in this tub here, I just have like all eye products. This is like all face products, so foundations, BB creams, blushes, bronzers. This is all lippies, so you know, you know what lippies are. And then this here is just all perfumes. And then up here, I have all my palettes. Now, these are all of the palettes that I own, and I got this at Target. I don't know if I'm going to keep these letter trays, because I think I want different ones, because you see this is a two slot here. And then it has two little slots up top. And then I can kind of put, you know, like smaller palettes in those. But because like how you see this one, these palettes are thick. So you can only get one palette in there. And then I just have the naked three and the naked and the back part. So if you can see that back part, there's like a divide right there. So, I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. But I got it at Target. I mean, if I can't find anything better at like Staples or Office Depot, then I will definitely keep these and then probably buy two more because these these are pretty thick. I have three, six, two, four. Yeah, so I would need like two more or three more. Um, but yeah, so that's all that's new in the bathroom. Leaving the bathroom, this door here is my guest bedroom. Nothing new in there, so I'm not going to show it. But I do want to show you guys my like baseboard doorways. If you can see, if you saw in the first video, there was like huge gaps and it just looked 
horrid and they finally came in and fixed it they also did it for the bathroom let me go back in the bathroom here so you can see so these are all done and looking nice thank god because i was not happy i think you all were pretty much aware of that on the first video and like they finally put all of those flush to the wall so everything that i wanted fixed pretty much got fixed so you see here bathroom and now my bedroom so some things did change. So this is some stuff that I still need to put away, the dog's bed and crates, but just kind of like an overview here for you. I really love it. I kind of want my room to be like a romantic, really nice, soft feel to it. And I feel like I'm going to get the result that I want. So starting over here, the lamp, which I'm absolutely in love with. I think it's so, so pretty. I got it from Pure One, or not Pure One. I got it for I from Ikea. Sorry, from Ikea for I think $49 or $39. And I got two of them. And I just think it's so, so cute. I really love it. And I think it matches my um bedroom furniture well ignore my fuzzy socks that i sleep with at night but yeah so this is my bedside chest from pier one so this is from pier one i got two of them it is from the hayworth collection the mirrored furniture which i absolutely love i've never seen it in the brown color that i have I've only ever seen it in silver. And so when I went in, they actually had it in silver, white, and brown. So I really love brown on like neutral colors. And I just felt more could go with brown. And then, of course, I got the queen size headboard to match. So I want to get the dresser to match as well. Just waiting to save up on that so I can get it. And then my bedding here. So I have a queen size bed. And then my bedding here, I actually got off a of Groupon, and I'm not sure of the exact name. Um, if I can, I can probably look at my Groupon receipt. I'll link it down below. So everything that I buy, I will definitely put the names down below for you guys. If I can find links, I will also link those down below. Hopefully I can. So this is just kind of like an overview of like my sleeping area. So you guys can see, I really like it. I think it's super like cozy and homey. So yeah, um, I still have a lot to do. Obviously, as you can tell, it's not 100% done. I still need to completely unpack, but um, eventually I will get there eventually. It's just a lot going on. And when I work five days a week, honestly, I'm lazy. I don't want to... <laughs> I'm being honest, I don't wanna unpack. I wanna take off my clothes, I wanna shower, and I wanna eat. That's what I wanna do. But speaking of eating, I better feed my pugs. So I'm going to go ahead and go. Um, I am still taking questions. Um, I am doing a Q&A video because on my last or my first one and only apartment tour video, a lot of you guys were asking questions. So I figured I will do a Q&A for you guys. So if you have any questions for me, go ahead and comment down below and I will definitely grab up all of the questions and answer them the best I can. And then I'm also doing a Scentsy Q&A and I want to, I really want to upload that on Friday for Fragrance Friday if possible. So if you are a Scentsy consultant or Scentsy customer, go ahead. If you have any Scentsy questions, just leave those down below. So Sensi questions, personal questions, leave those down below for me, please. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check the description box for everything down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I will see you guys later. Bye.